Hi, I'm Melody and today I want to share a story with you about a dad who loses his hair. Now you might be thinking, yeah, you know how this story is likely to go. Lots of dads lose their hair. But trust me, this is a tale of a bad hair day like you've never seen it before. The original story is published in German. It's called Als Papas Haare Ferien machten. It's written and illustrated by Jörg Müller and published by Moritz Verlag. And this is how it begins. Eines Tages hatten Papas Haare einfach keine Lust mehr auf Kamm und Bürste. Sie wollten nicht länger die ganze Zeit still auf seinem Kopf herumliegen, sondern endlich was erleben. Mal was sehen von der Welt. Ein Ruck, sie sprangen. Schock! And now, here it is in English. Dad's hair was sick of being brushed and combed. It was tired of hanging around on his head. It wanted a life of its own. It wanted to see the world. One day, it coiled itself and sprang. Horrors! Dad sprang after it. He flailed his arms about, shooing it around the bathroom. He scolded, he threatened, he begged and pleaded. Stop, he shouted. Stop right there. But his hair didn't stop. It didn't listen. It didn't stay. It fluttered around him, just out of reach. Dad lost his temper. He grabbed a towel and swung, whirled and whipped it about. He almost caught his hair too. I'm guessing he toppled off the stool and tangled with the toilet paper. Whumped into the washing machine, maybe. Or perhaps the toilet brush tripped him up. I don't know the details. He doesn't like to talk about it. Anyway, he stumbled and fell with a bang into the bathtub. My mother poked her head around the door to see what the hullabaloo was about. The hare took its chance. It cut along the hall to the living room, over the kitchen table and out through the open window to freedom. Before I could say, Hester la vista, baby, it was gone. And so the story continues, with the hare racing into town and Dad chasing after it. He comes within a whisker of recapturing it, but the hare slips past a hair's breadth away and sets off on its world trip. Will the hare ever return home? Or will Dad have to be content to spend the rest of his days with the hair he has left on his chin and sprouting out of his nose and ears? Will the hare spend the rest of its days sending postcards home from the hare there and everywhere, saying, wish you were hare? This hair-raising little tale is called When Dad's Hair Took Off, and it's published by Gecko Press and available at a good bookshop near you. Thank you for watching, and watch out for hair. It can be tricksy stuff. <laughs>